In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the repeat tool in Adobe Illustrator to repeat things in a bunch of different ways. This is like a new way to make patterns, a new way to make circles, grids. We're going to make a cool little sunburst shape out of just this one line segment. This is such a fun tool and I promise you will love having learned it. So let's dive in. You might be aware of a few ways to copy and paste and repeat things in Adobe Illustrator. A couple of my favorites, of course, there's the classic Control C, Control V. You can paste in place. You can paste on all artboards. You can paste um, just in the middle of the screen. You can do a lot of things. You can also just hold Alt and drag away, and you're going to drag a copy. You can do it again. Uh, you can drag Alt, say you want to drag here, and then you can press Control D and that will just repeat whatever the transformation you just made was. And then if you are doing like moving something or rotating something, uh, you can always do copy instead of just move. And instead of moving that original object, it will create a new one that is moved or rotated or however you establish in there. So there's a lot of different options, but I like to make a lot of kind of grid things like little tracker sheets that have calendars on them and things like that. So how can you do that? I'm just going to move this circle up here and make it a little bit smaller. And also let's make it my favorite color, yellow, just make it interesting. So you'll use object repeat and there's a few different options here so we can repeat in a radial way which is going to repeat basically around a circle you can repeat in a grid to create a grid and you can also repeat in a mirror which is just going to give you uh, kind of a repeat that's translated over a mirror now if we wanted to let's do a little grid Maybe we're making a little tracker for something and we'll change our options. And this is going to keep all of this in a repeat. Any changes we make here will here. So we can make them closer together. We can make this cute little scalloped pattern. Uh, we can make them closer together in this way. We can change the grid. So this is a great way to make patterns. Um, instead of actually having to go through and repeat them, you can actually just use the grid. To do that, um, you can make it uh, offset a little bit horizontally or vertically, however you like. And you can flip your rows and columns. Uh, this isn't going to show up on a circle, of course, but it will be. It will show up on uh, like a star or something else. And if I click into here and make the shape smaller, then we still have all the same options selected. Just so you can see how these work a little bit differently. And then for example, I have like a sunburst shape out of line segments that I'm trying to make. So a great way to do that is just to repeat this line segment in a radial way. And then when I go into my options, um, I can just add as many as I want. And then this is just going to increase the size of the circle that it's uh, Radi radiating or repeating around. <laughs> Woo. Beautiful. And then whatever we do to the main object will be done to all of them. So if I change this to red, since those are repeated versions of the red, it's going to automatically change them as well. Let's do a little orange sunburst right there. Really cool. I thought you should know about this repeat feature. I think it's really fun um, and hope that you can find a ton of uses for it in your design work. I have a ton of other videos here on my channel about Adobe Illustrator. Specifically, I teach a lot of wedding imitation design. If that's something you're interested in, definitely stay and check it out and let me know what other Adobe Illustrator features you'd like to learn about. Thanks, everybody.